Yo, what is up everybody? Christina Marie here. I look a hot mess. I apologize in advance. It is, I had a long day of work. I went to the eye doctor and they were poking and prodding and dying at my, putting dye in my eye to see things. If you didn't check my last video, go ahead and check that, but I explain what's going on. I have a corneal ulcer on my left eye. So I have all kinds of eye drops that I need to take every hour, every two hours, steroids, everything to get rid of the stupid ulcer. So, hence the reason why I'm not wearing any makeup or wearing contacts or all that other stuff. I feel fine, but it's there and it's annoying. But that is not what this video is about. It is about VidCon 2013. My experience from my world, from my perspective, I want to take you on this journey. Look at all the, okay, these are all of my, I get VIP or all access to every event, well, most events that I go to. I get special access passes. This is my VidCon badge from last year. And then here's my VidCon badge from the, backwards, from this year. Really legit. But then I have, I have other things on here too that I go to concerts, festivals that I used to work on. If you actually want to know what all this is, Leave a comment down below. I think it'll be really interesting for me to share my life through these lanyards with you guys. I actually have a few more that I didn't bring with me. I just think it would be really cool to kind of talk about my life and my love for music. Most of these are music through these lanyards. So totally, if this is something you want to know about, thumbs up this video, comment down below letting me know. But VidCon, it happened this past weekend. I promised you guys some videos. Now I'm going to be a day late with this video because of my eye doctor appointment. So I wasn't able to film and upload in the time that I needed. So probably this video is going up on a Thursday. And video number two will probably either be uploaded later today, Thursday, or tomorrow, Friday. I didn't do a lot of vlogging at VidCon because I want to talk with you about my experience as well as show you some video clips and some pictures. I want to take a different approach to my um, telling of my VidCon experience because it, it was a whole different experience for me. Last year, 2012, was my first VidCon. I went with my friend Aldrin, or the Aldi Waldi. Went last year together. We were both newbies, didn't know too much. I was, I'm very introverted, naturally. Camera, not so much, but in person, I'm quite introverted. I don't really like to have a lot of conversation because I'm very introspective. Um, so I didn't talk a lot. I didn't want to put myself out there. I didn't want to meet YouTubers that I had admired. So I was very, I, I kept to myself a lot. So last year's VidCon experience, I will link those videos down below, was very different from this year's VidCon experience because now I'm more experienced, I'm more knowledgeable, I'm partnered with Awesomeness TV, shameless plug. Um, and I just feel different. I'm more confident, I have, more subscribers. I'm start, I've started a channel that I'm in love with and that I just, I, I feel bonded with you guys a lot more than I did last year. So I'm able to be myself a lot more. So this experience was different. With that being said, that is the reason why I didn't vlog too much. Cause I spent a lot of time just engaging with a lot of YouTubers and having conversations and networking and getting to know people a lot better. I hope you appreciate this format that I'm taking for VidCon. Um, so when I got to VidCon, um, I got there probably about 6.30 that morning, that Friday morning, didn't do industry day. I will be doing that next year. Um, and stood in line that was a mile and a half long. Oh my gosh. We got inside, registration opened up at eight o'clock. I got inside about 8.30, 8.45. But then the expo line was insanely long. An expo, the expo hall opened at nine o'clock and I said, I'm not gonna stand in another line. I just got through with another line. So I decided to make my way over to the main stage. And the main stage is where like a lot of YouTubers come on and they have stage time and just introduce themselves to the entire VidCon congregation. And so I went to the main stage and it was awesome. They did, they opened with a cover of Thrift Shop and I think I think Madison Bailey was one of the people, I think that's her name, Madison Bailey. Um, Tyler Ward, Pentatonix. Oh my gosh, DJ Flufa, did I say that right? Flula, Flufa, blah, 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 blah. 
and they did this whole thing of thrift shop. They each had a section of thrift shop to do, which was really awesome. Then Hank and John came out and introduced VidCon, talked a little bit about the sponsors and what the rules are and all that kind of stuff, which was awesome. But then Tyler Oakley and Hannah Hart came out and that was my life. That was it for me right there. I love Tyler. He is the ultimate fangirl, so I was there. I was so there with him. And then uh, Tyler and Hannah just did their thing and then Jack and Finn came out and talked with Tyler and that just was it for me already. It was like 9.30 in the morning and I was already done. I was just, my, my tank was full and I was just through. And um, I have a story to tell you about Jack and Finn and how they disrupted my VidCon experience. I will tell you about that tomorrow for day two. So bookmark that in your mental blocks right now. I will be telling you a story about Jack and Finn. After Jack and Finn were done, I decided to go back, I decided to go to the expo hall and that was when everything happened for me. I met YouTubers left and right. New YouTubers, famous YouTubers, people like me, just left and right and it was so such an enriching experience, you guys. The first place I went to was uh, Bare Minerals. They were there, I think this was their first year being there, and they were giving free make-unders, and I got one. I am at the Bare Minerals table or booth here getting a make-under, and this is the lady that's doing my makeup. Hi! And so I'll check back with you in a second to show you what I look like after. So this is the before. Okay, so this was a station that was used. This is the pretty red lipstick that I'm probably going to end up buying. What was it called? Call the Shots. Call the Shots. And so this is what it looks like and I love it. I love it. It's very simple. The makeup doesn't feel like anything. I don't, I feel like I have nothing on my face. And she's awesome. So thank you so much. This was fun. Yay. Pretty awesome, right? Like it was just a lot of fun to do that. I didn't even have to do my makeup that day. I don't even know why I spent all that time doing my makeup when Bare Minerals was there. But it was awesome. I got a free lip gloss out of it too. Um, then I made a new puppy friend. You guys, look, I have a new friend. Say hi. Wasn't she the cutest? She was so, so cute. And they were um, rescue uh, pups, rescue puppies. They had been abused or beaten or abandoned or something and they were just all so precious. But she called out to me and I just held her for the longest time and she just sat right there. I think she was on this side. But she just sat right there in, in the crook of my neck. And oh, she was so precious. And if I could afford to have a puppy I would, I would have gotten her. I just, oh, she was so sweet, so, so, so precious. Then after that, I hung out with my network, um, Awesomeness TV. I went and hung out with them, met them for the first time in person and just got to just have the, a really great experience with them. I met Jackie, who is someone I, I've been corresponding with a lot. And then I met Dustin, who is a host for news from the network uh, for the Awesomeness TV network. So. He actually interviewed me, so I have an interview with Awesomeness TV coming up soon. I will let you guys know when that is. But it was a really great experience. I sat there and just had so much fun. There was face painting there. There was chalkboard writing, which I participated in. There were tattoos. There was cool music. There was just a step and repeat where you could take pictures. It was just a really, a really good time. Um, Hunter March was there um, having, giving, having interviews with other YouTubers. It was just so much fun and I was there with them for most of my day actually. I also went to the Awesomeness TV panel which was pretty fun. I had a good time for the most part just sitting there learning more about the various YouTubers that are on Awesomeness TV. So that was really entertaining for me. I also made some new friends when I was just wandering the expo hall and I um got a chance to sit down with them and interview them. Who are you more most excited to see? Um, probably uh, Tyler Oakley. Tyler, okay. Hold on, zoom out. There we go. Dan, that was on fire. 
Dan, oh my god, Phil and Dan. I forgot about them. Now I want to meet them too. And then Shane Dawson. I can't even. I love it. This is awesome. VidCon was just so, so crowded. There were people everywhere. There were cosplayers, which was pretty cool. But everywhere I turned, there were people. Like, people just everywhere. You could definitely tell that this was a bigger VidCon experience. I didn't have a problem with it. I still was able to get to where I wanted to get to. So that was fine. But there were just people everywhere. Are you chewing on my necklace? Are you chewing on my necklace? And then there, of course, were YouTubers everywhere too. I just kept running into people. I ran into Alfie or Pointless Blog. I didn't really talk to him because he was busy signing autographs and had a slew of people around him. I was okay with that. I ran into Sprink, Splink. I ran into Sprinkle of Glitter or Louise. Um, she was with Alfie and she was doing the same thing, taking pictures, talking. Um, signing autographs so that was pretty fun just watching and being that close to them i met a few youtubers on day one day one was me just really hanging out with awesomeness tv and getting to know my network um that was my intention for day one when i went there and that goal was achieved so check mark that off the list and then after vidcon was over there was a vidcon festival that was held outside with concerts and music and all that kind of stuff food trucks it was pretty cool so i hung out there for a little bit i'm not really a party person so probably around about an hour into the festival i decided to just go home one i was visiting my mom and so i hadn't seen her in over a year so i wanted to spend some time with her and get some sleep to get up early again and drive down to vidcon for day two so that is my day one VidCon experience. I actually think I had a, I utilized that experience to the best of my abilities. I really, really do. I got to meet a lot of people. I got to, like I said, talk to my network a little bit more and just learn about who they are as an organization and tell them a little bit more about who I am and what my intentions are with my channels and what my goals are with my channels. And it's channels, channel. It's nice to have a face to the name of the people that I've um, been corresponding with. But yeah, that was my day one. So thumbs up this video if you went to VidCon, if you saw me at VidCon and you know didn't say hi or didn't know who I was, that's totally fine. Um, comment down below. Uh, just subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will be back either later today or tomorrow for day two of VidCon. I can definitely tell you right now that I didn't film at all for day two, so it's gonna be a talking experience and a bunch of pictures, but I think you'll enjoy those pictures. So I will see you guys tomorrow for VidCon recap day two. Bye.